So back to the Rangers, barring a uh, major collapse, really, from this season uh, until that March 3rd deadline. The Rangers are expected to be buyers come that deadline. Uh, aside from Patrick Kane, who should the Rangers have, have their eyes on and who possibly have you heard that the Rangers have their eyes on? Oh, man, that's a tough one. Um, there, I mean, yes, there's always going to be the links with Patty Kane. I mean, there's a lot of really good forwards uh, out there that are um, – on teams where I'm very interested to see where they go. I mean, the headliners are Taves and Kane out of Chicago. Um, then you go, to, you move over to St. Louis. I mean, St. Louis is an interesting one because their GM, Doug Armstrong, is one that will not be satisfied with just getting into the playoffs. Like, if he feels like his team isn't really there to go on a run, even if they're going to make the playoffs, he'll sell at the deadline. Like, he's going to do what's going to be necessary for this team to be better in the future. And they've got... Ryan O'Reilly, Vlad Tarasenko, and um, Ivan Barbashev is pending UFAs. So I'm really interested to see there. Uh, there's been some links with maybe O'Reilly to Toronto, which would be huge for Toronto if they're able to swing that. Um, I don't know. I wonder how. I don't. I wonder how a, a potential land of a Vlad Tarasenko would be uh, on the wing. And I mean, if you had a second line of Trocheck, Panarin, and Tarasenko. Sign me up for that, right? So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how this shapes out. I, that, Ivan Barbashev, though, I love what he brings. Uh, he does a lot of uh, uh, the intangibles. I think he had 20-some goals. Uh, maybe it was last season. Uh, he he can he can make the needle move. Um, but, yeah, outside of that, I mean, the, the big one, too, Bo Horvat. I don't really see the Rangers in on, on him. Um, but yeah, it's, it, uh, if there's one spot, I think they need to touch up on, you obviously need, this is a team that should go a long time in the playoffs. So you should add veteran pieces, role playing, maybe extra defensemen, extra forwards. You should add all those things. I think that's what, what teams do. Um, you know, con contending teams do it's that second line wing. I still don't know. I like that Kravtsov's given, been given the opportunity. I, just to be frank, I, I'm not seeing enough. I don't know if that's going to work. And I don't know if it's going to work come playoff time. Uh, so I think that that could be uh, something that, um, I mean, think about it. If they were able to fulfill, maybe it is Kravtsov. Maybe he finds a way to get some some of the juices going there with, with Panarin and Trocek. But if you can have the top line beat the top line, you got line two. Um, you got line two with, a, with the Trocek, Kravtsov, Panarin. Uh, line three, if you went back to, if you need, I mean, it did it in the game against Dallas, went back to the Heedle, Laugh, and, and Kako line. That's three really good lines. I like what they bring. So, um, yeah, second line wing is still an area I think they need help with. Uh, I saw yesterday in an article by Frank Saravalli uh, about Brock Besser. Do you see that as a possibility as well? Um, I, I mean, Brock Besser's a, he's a player that's shown he's got some great scoring touch. Uh, he's got a, he's got a big body. Um, he doesn't always play with that big frame, but I, I think just going to those hard areas is, is something, uh, you know, that you can, if he does, that it'll give you a little bit of a, a piece that as far as a right-handed finisher, um, you know, I did, I, yeah, Besser would be one, but I think of, when I think of Vlad Tarasenko, I, I for me, that's a, that's an intriguing one. Um, he's obviously hurt. So I think it's the big thing is finding out right now he's on LTIR to find out what it is and, and where it's uh, will be at, but he's a player that, I mean, he's 235 pounds. Uh, I walked by him at the all-star game in, in, in Nashville and uh, years ago, a couple of years back and he was walking down the hallway and this guy is so big like you see those it's almost like a sometimes you see running backs like football players got the big rear end big quads like to the point where it's like his legs can't even it's almost like he's got a swivel down the hallway because he's so big his lower body and and he's so powerful out there and he plays in the traffic and i think that's the, the type of guy that uh that the rangers need whether it's him brock besser uh bigger body to kind of play in the interior kind of like chris Kreider. For those in New York, that's the uh, the Saquon Barkley of of the NHL. I guess that's exactly that's a perfect that's a perfect comparable. I don't know if he's as big as Saquon, but he it's it's big like that. Like yeah, I don't know how he gets pants made for him. <laughs>